Hi everyone, I'm Riley, a librarian at the University of Alabama. Today's lesson will be an introduction to sources and their two main classifications. At this point, you may have seen assignments from your professors that have instructions like use at least three scholarly sources, summarize 10 primary sources, include citations for five peer-reviewed sources, or avoid using popular sources. These terms might seem vaguely familiar to you or they may be completely new, but why do they matter? When doing research, it is important to use the right sources for the question you're trying to answer. To do this, first we will look at how researchers categorize sources. Then we will look at how to determine whether or not to use a specific source. Once you understand these differences, doing your research will be a lot easier, so let's get started. First, let's clarify what a source is. A source is a unit of information, such as an article, news report, book, photograph, post on a website, or a film. Sources come in a variety of formats, but the types of sources you choose will be determined by the type of project you are working on and the questions you are trying to answer. Typically, researchers categorize sources into two distinctions, primary and secondary sources, and scholarly and popular sources. Primary sources are items that were created at the time of the event, whereas secondary sources analyze and interpret the information from primary sources. Scholarly sources are created by scholars for scholars, whereas popular sources are made for general audiences. Now that you have a basic understanding of sources, the next few lessons will explain these categorizations in more depth. 